when President Trump uh, first called upon you to advance his efforts to bring peace to the Middle East, uh, all the experts, you know, the so-called experts, belittle your appointment. By the way, I, I ask you, don't take it personally. They do it to me, too. <laughs> now you can say, I can say, how wrong these naysayers were. You can be proud of your contribution to normalizing Israel's relations with the Arab and Muslim world and for peace in the Middle East. Ah. Mark, can you read this? Somebody? No? It says, yeah. Yeah. in recognition of Jared Kushner, senior advisor to the President of the United States, for his historic contribution to the Abraham Accords, the normalization of Israel's relations with the Arab and Muslim world, and to peace in the Middle East. Thank you. You're more short-sighted than me. Thank you. Tomorrow, we will very proudly advance the Abraham Accords with the first direct commercial flight on El Al from Israel to Morocco. For this breakthrough, I would like to thank my friend, King Mohammed VI, uh, as this will bring about a whole new set of opportunities for Northern Africa and the entire Middle East. To create a lasting and sustainable peace, any deal made must leave all people more secure, free to worship how they choose, and with sustainable opportunity for economic development and prosperity. This is a simple approach, but it was surprisingly controversial when we started because it went against the conventional way of thinking. After four years of intense efforts and learnings, I feel even more conviction that it is the key to continued success and there is much more success to be had in the future.